everyone, this is Miss Kabibi from Kabibi Hair. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how it's super easy to cut a bob hairstyle and bangs on my wig. Now I actually have another video and I'll put the link to it above that shows exactly how I cut the bangs on my wigs. So for this one, I'm just gonna run through it really quickly, but you can check out the other video to see the step-by-step. Okay, so now it's time for me to cut the bob. I take two scrunchies and I'm gonna comb my hair back and then put it in a very low and tight ponytail with the first scrunchie. And that's just gonna keep my hair in place. With the second scrunchie, I'm gonna put that below the first scrunchie and I'm gonna use this as my marker and slide it down to decide how long I want the bob to be in the back. So I keep sliding it down. I want this to be about shoulder length. And once I decide where to cut it, then I just start cutting below the second scrunchie. So after the first cut, go ahead and remove the scrunchies. And the hair is naturally going to have a very slight angle to the front. If you like that, you can keep it. I want it to be a blunt cut all around. So in a second, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the front to be the same length as the back. And that's it, that's the end of the cutting. Now I'm gonna show you in a couple of minutes exactly how I get the bangs to behave themselves. Since this is a fresh out of the bag wig, the bangs aren't going to lay the way I want them to, but I'll show you how to fix that. Went ahead and I co-washed the wig and remember how I said earlier that for a freshly, fresh out the box wig, the hair, the bangs aren't just gonna, aren't gonna lay the way you want them to. So the way you retrain the hair is by wetting it. It's that simple. So I just co-washed it and now I would normally let the wig air dry overnight, but in the interest of time, I'm using the blow dryer on warm air just to speed up the drying process. So now that everything is dry and the bangs are being, they're behaving, they're facing the way that I want them to, I'm just going back in and doing the very final cut just to make sure that the length is what I want it to be. So to add curls and just volume to the hair, I'm using these rollers that have, it's like the self-adhesive type of rollers that have like Velcro to the touch on the outside of the rollers. And I would never use this in my real hair, but for the wig or for just extensions in general, they work great to add curls and volume without leaving a dent in the hair and without having to use heat. So the last thing I do is remove the roller from the bangs and now I'm just going to adjust the wig and just make sure everything is secured to my head. And that's it. So the last thing I do is just brush out the 
wig and just make sure everything is smooth. Then I shake my head to make sure the wig is secure. Um, I'm loving this style. I hope you guys do too. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Kisses. Bye.